only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed. So be sure to leave a sub and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Anyways, enjoy. So with the help of Bennett and Sucrose, this is how high my child's burst crit can go at the moment. Also note that I am not using any food buffs. And also, my child hasn't have any constellations unlocked because I was broke and couldn't afford it. But anyways, let's talk about the artifacts. I'm using the two sets of Noblesse Oblige and the two sets of Wanderer's Truth. Although I don't have great sub stats for some of these artifacts because Mihoyo fucking hates me. But enough of that. The main stats are good enough to benefit child anyways. But don't just go ham on child. Consider using Bennett and sucrose too. I focused elemental mastery on sucrose. It would benefit child because of her talent Mollus Favinus, in which upon triggering swirl with hydro affected opponents, it would boost child's own elemental mastery. The artifacts are just elemental mastery. Bennett on the other hand will be the trigger for the elemental reaction, also for big attack boosts. Here's the clip on how to utilize all of their skills in order. Now I know what you're thinking, but Matt, why is Barbara there? Well you see little Jack, the weapon I gave Barbara boosts whomever she switches with. Anyways, let's check out the damage on the Abyss. So this is the highest number I could pull off from Child's Burst right now, at least whenever I'm in Floor 7 in the Abyss. But why Floor 7 you ask? Because the Leyline Disorder gives additional 120% crit damage to your party. But anyways, that's it for today. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. I'll be streaming different games, not just Genshin, maybe Minecraft. Also, leave a comment on what you think of the video. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace!